Hello and welcome to another beautiful episode of Gatsby with WordPress theme development. Okay, in the previous video we learned about how to write a query for pages and getting the categories. In this video we are going to use the create page API from Gatsby to dynamically create all of the pages on the site. Okay, so let's see how we do this. The first thing we're going to want to do is come to the root of our project and do create a file called Gatsby node.js and this is where our Gatsby um, this is where our API related stuff stays which is like creating uh, pages using create pages API etc okay so we're going to use a function called create pages so we'll do export dot create pages asynchronous and it provides us access to actions and GraphQL then we're going to create another directory and that will be called in another directory called create pages and inside of it we'll keep our all of our query etc and some of the functions for creating different pages like posts pages etc okay so let's do for pages first so I'll name it as pages and I'm gonna do const create all pages equals require and then the path of this so this will be dot create pages slash pages like so okay great and then we're going to use this create pages API and we'll say await and then we're going to pass this again these actions in GraphQL to this okay great so this is going to be responsible for creating all of the pages then inside of pages we'll say const get pages equals backtick and inside of this we'll do query get pages and then curly braces and this is where we're going to write our query so we so we've already got the query which is here so I'm just gonna copy that whole thing and just paste it here so we've got a query alright awesome okay now I'm just gonna paste this code and then explain to you what goes on over here okay so let me explain to you what happens so we do mod module.export asynchronous and because we are passing the actions in GraphQL over here this is going to get access to that then we are going to pull the create page uh, function from the actions which is actually responsible for creating pages then we're going to say const fetch post asynchronously so what we're going to do is we'll say return await GraphQL and whatever the query is which is which is your get pages right here we're going to pass that and then we'll say dot then so it's a promise and then it's going to receive the data so we're going to pull the data out of it and out of that data we're going to get hold of the HW GraphQL because remember we had the we had the data which is this data and then inside of it I have HW GraphQL which is this and then I have pages so I have pages and then I have then I have categories so this is the categories all right so we just pull those information which is the pages and categories and inside of pages then we have nodes so inside of the pages we have nodes inside of nodes uh, okay so we get that in the pages so we get all of the pages over here and then inside of categories we have edges so let me just minimize these like so you can do query in WordPress or you can do it in GraphQL whichever way you want to but just ensure that the HW GraphQL won't be available here in WordPress so you've got categories and then you've got edges right so categories are edges so we are just returning it once the query is done it's going to, this function is going to return this data in form of uh, these key value pairs once that is done when above fetch post is resolved then we're going to loop through the pages and we're going to create the pages using the create page API 
okay so we're going to say if the pages exist if we've got all of the pages then map through the pages and it's going to give me a single page over here and then we're also going to go ahead and check for some custom templates so i'm just going to paste a code over here uh, this slash is used to for slashing from Gatsby. Uh, these will be our custom templates. So uh, because when we run a query, it's going to go ahead and loop through all of the pages. But at the t at some time, we may not want to, uh, you know, use a default page. We may want to create a custom page for for certain pages. So for that, we, I'm just creating an array, and we are saying that, uh, you know, anything that ends with slash blog or the home page etc do not create the pages for that we're going to handle it separately okay and then this is going to use a single page template so we just need to create that single page template inside of source we'll create a template that it's going to use so we'll create templates and then inside of that we'll create a directory called page where our page data for page will be staying and then index.js okay so that's the single page template all right so coming back so we first check does it include those pages for which we don't want to create uh, those will be a custom template so if it doesn't like if it doesn't include any of these URIs then in that case uh, go ahead and create the page using create page uh, function so this create page function accepts different parameters it takes path uh, so we have got the page.uri so let me show you so this is the content uri so this is the uri okay so it's going to take the path and Gatsby is, will automatically make the page available at that particular uh, you know URL okay uh, using that particular template that we that we are going to use for this page which is this page index.js so all of the uh, pages which will be at different URIs like slash travel slash about etc they are going to be using the same template which we have defined here which is template page index.js so it's going to be using the same template just like you have in WordPress uh, one template uses different pages okay all right then it requires a component which component do you want to use so we just slashing it and we are passing the single page template which is this page index.js okay and then inside of context whatever data we want to pass to our template we're going to pass that inside of the context so we are passing the page everything that's inside of the page we are passing the spreading that and then we are passing the category so remember that we are returning the pages and the category all of that data over here that you see over here we're just passing that to that particular template so that it's available to use okay so let's go back into our template and here we'll say import react from react and then we'll say const page template equals return let's just return a div for now my page and then just to export con default page template okay and then this is going to take props now let's console to see what we get in props so what we are expecting to see is that whatever we have passed in the page context which is this entire data the page data all the pages data and the categories should be available inside of props inside of page context so let's go ahead and do that and let's also ensure that we add categories over here so categories are just nodes id name and slug so let's make sure we have that so this is our full query and the next thing we're going to do is just run npm run a dev so so this is going to spin up a server on to port 8000 and just to let you know that if you want to see what data you are actually getting from the from the create pages uh, what you could do is you can come in over here in the code and just do like console log and then you can json.stringify it and then see whatever data you're getting to debug gonna go to port 8000 and hit it and how do we know that those pages are created so what we're gonna do is we'll just go to any 404 so just type like ABC or whatever over here and then hit it and there you go so all of the pages that are created will show over here so these are all my WordPress pages 
and these are showing over here okay and you can search the page as well for example if you want to child you search the child page you can see what pages are available and if you hit it like if I click on this in fact you won't see anything over here right now just yet uh, because you can see that in the page index.js we just have the my page over here so that's what is being displayed and since we console want the props we can take a look at that go to console and if you check props you can check props and then you can see that this is the page context available and these are the categories so we've got all of the categories available and similarly we have got the date id title all of that stuff right currently don't there isn't any featured image for this so so it's not showing over here but it, if it was then it would show right uh so maybe we can take a look at about maybe i think we should have an about page yes we do so let's take a look page context there you go you can see this has a featured image so this is our URL for the featured image. Then you also have the source URL shop, which has been created by the Gatsby uh, plugin that that we are using, which is which is this one Gatsby plugin GraphQL image. So that is responsible for creating this fluid, and the, and this fluid uh, you know object is going to help us create us create the optimized images. Okay, awesome. So we're going to use that and. Um, all right, so we've got all of the data that we need. Brilliant. So in the next tutorial, we're going to learn about how to go ahead and create the component further and how to use Storybook and how to display all of that information. Okay, but since now you know how to fetch the data from uh, using, how to fetch the data from WordPress using GraphQL queries and uh, how to use these Create Pages API. Awesome. So I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And do follow me on GitHub. My GitHub handle is Imran H. Sayed, so you please hit the follow button here. Do give star to my repository. So this is the repository uh, which is Gatsby WordPress Streams. Uh, you can use this uh, for reference or if you and you could also use this theme for your project. It's available on NPM as well. Please follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is Cody Tech. Awesome. So I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.